this is Zex and I welcome to the Zex Talk and welcome to Shiny September. This is a series I'm doing this month where I take a look at my favorite and least favorite shiny Pokemon of each generation. And today, we're taking a look at my least favorite shinies from Generation 3. I think I have to say right off the bat, I have a bit of a weakness in the Gen 3 department. Ruby and Sapphire are the only main series games that I've never even touched, and as such, I'm not as familiar with the Pokemon from Gen 3. I've bothered to familiarize myself with most of them, at least to a small degree, and many of them have appeared in other games. But because I never got acclimated to the Gen 3 pokes, I don't have the same history with them as many other people do. So that might have caused me to end up with some weird picks, but I hope I've justified them adequately. Anyway, let's get right into it! Number 5 Obligatory Pink Alert! Yeah, this was the worst pink Pokémon I could find to put on this list. I could have put Kyogre for having pink ruin yet another kick-ass legendary. I could have put Sharpedo for taking all the darkness out of an awesome dark type. I could have put all the freaking water types for ruining all the water Pokémon. But the one that beat out all those other shinies was Wismer. And you probably think that's a crappy choice. After all, I said myself that it doesn't bother me when the original is pink and then the shiny is also pink because that's what it always was. And I don't have a problem with Wismer being pink. My problem is that the green clashes with the pink so badly. I think the green is a similar color to shiny Meryl's color, which I said I liked. And even the pink is a shade that I don't really tend to mind so far as pinks go. But putting them together is just stupid. Why would you? Why would you ever? Why would you do this? The yellow on original Wismer's ears carries through its evolutionary line, and Loudred and Exploud don't have this color change, so why change it here? Maybe to differentiate it, but then why make it pink at all? Why not make it an entirely different color, and then you could have kept the yellow ears and had a cool looking shiny? Or why the concern with differentiating the color scheme at all? That's never stopped Game Freak in the past! This is just a horrible design choice, a horrible color scheme, and even if I liked pink, I don't think I'd like shiny Wismer. Number 4 Talk about your toxic waste dump. Groudon just looks like he's straight up been rolling in chemical byproducts for the past three days. This is probably one of the ugliest shades of green that I could conceive of. Since Groudon represents land, it would have been nice to get a nice, warm, brown color to represent soil, or a deep green color to represent the plant life it supports. But instead, we get this, a cautionary environmentalist message about what will happen if we keep polluting. That's what I wanted when I spent hours soft resetting trying to hunt this thing down, environmentalism. Disclaimer, Zexanite is never shiny hunted and has never soft reset to obtain shinies. We recommend that you stop listening to this lying sack of shit. It's just gross and ugly, and why do you keep making all the legendaries look awful? Stop, Game Freak. Just stop. Number three. I don't think I'll be breaking any hearts when I say that Cradley is kind of an ugly Pokemon. The colors don't go particularly well together, it looks like it's got scribbles for eyes like a kindergarten drawing, and it's got these weirdly doofy teeth just sticking out. Oh yeah, and did I forget to mention that it has eight dicks sticking out of it? They're just straight up dicks! Why does this Pokemon have dicks all over it? Maybe it is a kindergarten drawing. It's like someone from Game Freak got drunk one night with his friends and they all just started drawing a bunch of dicks, but then he got up for work the next morning and he was like, Shit, I'm late for work and I never finished my designs. What am I gonna do? If I miss another deadline, I'm gone. And then he looked over at the pile of dick drawings scattered across the floor, picked one up and went, Eh, good enough. And thus, Cradley was born! I know they're supposed to be flower petals. Why do they look like dicks? Especially in the Gen 5 sprites. Those are some very, very phallic petals there, Game Freak! They toned it down in Gen 6, but come on, it's still a big pile of dicks. Wait, what was I talking about? I kinda lost my train of thought. Alright, shinies. It's bad enough that it has eight dicks coming out of it. So what do they do? Make them look even more dick-like through the coloring, and to top it all off, make Cradley flesh shown as well! Because Cradley didn't have enough dicks on it! Let's just make the whole thing a dick! Let's just make all of the Pokémon into dicks, and we'll rename it Kakimon! Gotta fuck them all! Shiny Cradley, just a straight-up dick. Number two. 
If I haven't alienated and made everybody hate me by now, I'm definitely going to with this pick. I know a lot of people like this Pokemon, and I'm not saying that the Pokemon is bad at all. And I can see where a lot of people might really be into this shiny, but this is just entirely a matter of the most visceral of reactions to this Pokemon. Shiny Sceptile kind of makes my eyes bleed. Like, a lot. The rest of the Trico line isn't much better, but it really hurts my eyes to even look at Shiny Sceptile. And it's only gotten worse as time goes on. I mentioned that I like electric blue Pokemon, but with Sceptile, it's just too much blue, too intensely, all at once. I think the red eyes and bulbs really don't help it very much. I'm sorry if this is a shiny you like, but this isn't even a matter of opinion. Like, my body physically rejects this Pokemon, and it causes me literal physical pain to set eyes on it. And to me, that's really the worst kind of shiny. Because if you just don't like a color or something, despite the fact that I've done nothing but complain about colors for two whole lists. Well, suck it up. Get over it. You can stand to have something that you're not 100% in love with in your party from time to time. But with a Pokemon that you physically can't even manage to look at, it's out of your control. And I don't know if everyone else has the same problem as me, but this is enough to make me really strongly dislike Shiny Sceptile. Sorry to all the Sceptile fans out there, but this Shiny is just painful for me. Number 1 In my Sucky Shiny video, I think I did a decent job breaking down all the Shinies into categories that a lot of the worst Shinies fit into. However, after having made these lists and looked more closely at a lot of these Pokémon, if I could make one other category of Shinies on that list, it would be Shinies that are just total clusterfucks. Pokemon where it just seemed like they needed to put every single color in existence on the Pokemon and none of them look good. I don't know that there would be enough of them to justify making a huge ramble about it, but they're definitely out there. And one of the worst of those would have to be Seviper. Look at normal Seviper. It's very cool looking. The yellow and the purple complement each other, the purple matches with the black, and it's got these nice pops of red here and there. There is a lot going on color-wise, but they all match so well you don't even really notice. It's just such a cohesive design. These colors seem like very natural choices and work with Seviper's design very well. So what happens when we get to shiny Seviper? A clusterfuck! That's what happens. One of the things that works about Seviper's original colors is that they have different levels of presence. They call to your attention in different ways. The purple is so subdued and goes with the black so well that you barely even notice it. The yellow is the most grabbing, being the brightest, but then you notice the red because it contrasts the other colors well. With Shiny Seviper though, it feels like all of these colors are in your face and they're all screaming, LOOK AT ME! Your eyes don't even really know where to look! There are just so many loud colors and they're all competing with each other. Even the base black color feels like it's trying to grab at your attention. This whole design just accosts your eyes. The worst part of it though is that none of these colors go with each other. Even if you take them individually, the blue and the green don't go together, the red and the blue don't go together, the green and the red don't go together, and they're all set on a black, which doesn't go together. Which I don't even know how you pull off a black that doesn't go with anything. Seriously, that's a skill that I could never even dream of mastering. Shiny Seviper is loud, abrasive, offensive, and it is just a clusterfuck of a shiny. That's it for this shiny September's X Talk, but the next one will be out soon. Thank you for watching, hopefully I will see you in the next video, and goodbye to you all sirs and madams and everyone in between.